The Gateway to Consciousness Message 1 Recently we were invited and even pushed to go into some vulnerable areas inside of us. Being present in them invited the unfurling of a new layer in our consciousness. A new petal of the sacred rose inside our being unfolded, which is the entry into the goddess gate. Wherever there is love, there she is. And where we were scared to enter, we are finding ourselves now mesmerized, being in this new mysterious path, this space that she is leading us into. There's something deep unfolding in the physical as well. We may find ourselves drawn into experiences that are very, very different, something we cannot have guessed. So pay attention to the call of the mysterious. Work with the third eye and crown colors of indigo violet. As you live your physical life, let the goddess open up mysterious corridors that defy space and time. Let her lead you in through her mysterious ways. It is a great time to work with any goddess practices that you have been keen to try as well. But there is a sense that the space opening up now is beyond just ritual. Message 2 Some books or other resources of knowledge are important right now. As you read certain words or hear them, they work like spells that are altering your state of consciousness and invoking magical abilities within your light body. This quiet, meditative time that you sp spend leads to the experience of new dimensions of awareness opening up in the mundane and the everyday. It's as if the background music to your life is changing and things take on a rhythm of their own. This is helping you live more of your magical qualities in the physical which is leading to physical abundance as well. Message three. Being in a physical body, there are so many things that we want. Recently, there have been reflections around mirroring to you those plans for your life that you may have denied and hid in your heart for fear of them being too good to come true. The nature of desire is such that when we first admit to it and allow it to surface in all of its glory, we can get overwhelmed and caught up in how we don't have it all now. Our guidance is that, there, that this is because desire is one of the purest frequencies that there is. So we are asked to allow it to surface. The physical body may not remember what pure desire feels like and be scared of it taking control. But in our DNA, we remember just how natural and organic desire is. Allowing it to flow as it surfaces allows for healthy and sustained circulation rather than abrupt and erratic bouts of energy. This week, we are guided to deepen our self-mastery when it comes to this. The first thing that helps with it with this is awareness of what is going on, which is what our guides are bringing through in this message. The second step is to be patient and hold grounded space in our physical body like an observer and allow for a balance of your energies for you are being upgraded. <laughs>